Alright, so a while back I posted on Twitter that I was thinking about watching Twilight for the lols. Now some people just tried to, they tried to their best to dissuade me, but it just didn't work. So I wound up watching it, and basically I've had to summarize my opinion of it. It was an incredibly shallow movie that left me feeling completely empty. I kind of like some of the visuals though, I like the overall color um, and some of the visuals, but that doesn't save a movie by any means. Um, but I have to say that, that sort of like G.I. Joe, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to. I thought that, you know, on a, on a scale of 1 to 10, uh, 1 being mild uh, annoyance and boredom, and 10 being you want to end it right now with the shotgun every second you're watching the movie, I would rate this movie pretty low on the annoyance factor, only about maybe a 3. Uh, there were moments where it, where it peaked at a 5 or a 6, but really the problem with this movie, as I said again, is this it's just completely empty and shallow and the characters are one-dimensional. This is exactly what everybody else said, I know that. But when I, I went to watch the movie, okay, I watched the first 50 minutes of it and I got bored and just had other things to do and so I turned it off and I didn't get back to it for like a month. It was at least a month, if not more like six weeks. And this is in, I mention this because it's important, because when I went back and watched it, the characterization of the characters in the second half of the movie just didn't make any sense to me, because basically Bella's like, Oh my god, I love you so much, I can't live without you! And, and I was like, w when did this happen? When did she forge this, you know, intense relationship with him that she's just gonna go emo and die without him because uh, I don't remember it happening in the first half of the movie and I don't remember it happening in the second half of the movie um, basically the thing about this movie you know young girl teenage girl comes to a new town and you ex you expect her to go into high school and for nobody to like her like every other teen movie but much to your surprise and I can't tr claim this as an original insight because somebody pointed this out to me before I even saw the movie much to your surprise everybody instantly likes this girl oh hey you're Bella let's all be friends you know in instantly and you're like what huh um Maybe because it's this little town and, and nothing ever happens and they're just like, hey, a new person, or whatever, I don't know. It, it, none of the characterization in this movie made any any sense to me whatsoever, really. Um, and so she meets Edward. Edward, of course, and, and the two fall madly in love. And that's the thing, why do they fall in love? Well, for Bella, Edward is supposed to be incredibly gorgeous uh, and, you know, sparkles in, in, the, uh, in the moonlight. <laughs> Not in the moonlight, in the sunlight, excuse me. Um, and for Edward, he is intoxicated by her smell because he seems to be confusing, uh, you know, his desire to kill her and drain her blood with being in love with her somehow, I, I, or I, if there's if there's more to it than that, they don't they don't get that across to you. Um, they just seem to be madly, m mostly her, and she's like totally over the board. Oh my god, if you leave me, I'll cut myself. Which apparently is what the second movie is about. Um, she's like totally, totally in love with this guy, and and he also with her, although to a less psychotic extent, for no real good reason. It's just very superficial. Yeah, I feel very protective. And, and th that's the thing that really got me about this movie. Uh, okay, he, at one point, you know, she's interested in him, but he's being very aloof and going away. But she's mostly minding her own business. And he's like, you have to stay away from me. It's... Uh, 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 she is staying away from you. You, he went up to her and told her that she needs to stay away. What the fuck is wrong with this person? And and the thing is, I don't know if this is the way it is in the book. I don't want to read the book. I mean, there's so many other, you know, it's somewhere on my list of things to read after I read everything else in literature worth reading. I'll get to it. It's somewhere above the cookbooks, you know? I mean, if I live long enough, I will eventually read everything ever written uh, that I can get my hands on. But, you know, Twilight's somewhere above the cookbooks uh, uh, and, and the total trash romance novels. But 
really, maybe it's just Robert Patterson or Pattinson or where the hell his name is, the way he plays the character, but he just like oozes with creepy stalkerness, and, and, and all the girls, uh, you know, out there in the, the real world, they're like gushing their panties over this guy. I, 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 I don't get it. He's like, yeah, I feel very protective of you, Fabella. You know, he, he, he like, just shows up in a room at random and watches. I, I like watching you sleep. I'm watching you. He is like fucking creepy stalker guy. Okay, he, um, he's like a hundred something years old. He's dating a, a seventeen year old girl. He doesn't seem to have anything in common with. And not only that, but he keeps going back to high school. That was the part I didn't fucking get because okay, if you looked like thir if you were a vampire and you were forever thirteen, okay, or, or something like that, or fourteen or fifteen, and you you really had that teenager look, um, you it might make some sort of sense to be, be like, hey, why is little Johnny not in you know Johnny vampire not in school? And so he would keep going in, into more and more schools, um, uh, but. He's 17, he could just, he just as easily pass for an adult and just say, oh yeah, I graduated high school, here's my diploma. And there was one scene where they have like, like a hundred different graduation caps on the wall. Why are these people still going to high school? What could they possibly stand to gain from it? I mean, they have to be pulled out of school every day, you know, the sun comes out. I, I, I don't get it. Why the fuck are they in school? It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It only serves so that Edward and Bella can meet. But they could have just easily have met in a fucking diner or a coffee shop. Why the fuck are these people still going to high school? Like, is there something new they need to learn that they couldn't get in a book? I, I, it makes no fucking sense, so don't even try and analyze it. And then... The, the drama comes into the movie. There's this vampire, James, and oh, he, he smells the human, and he's got to eat the human. Um, which is what actual vampires do, and they're not supposed to, you know, like, fucking glitter in the sunlight and, and eat deer and shit. They're, they're supposed to eat humans. So this James guy uh, is, is going to eat Bella, and, and it has... Uh, an Optimus versus the, the Fallen sort of ending. Remember back when I did the review of uh, Transformers 2 and I said I went out to take a piss and came back like less than two minutes later and the whole battle which the whole movie had been leading up to was over already? That's pretty much the way this one was. I mean it was completely anticlimactic. And you keep watching the movie because you're thinking well they're vampires you know and there's gonna be fights and shit so even though the, this is totally one-dimensional uh, awkward love scenes, and it, was, it wasn't even, you know, convincing, I mean, they're, they're, Ed, it was like, Edward and Bella, and, you know, were one-dimensional couple, and Kristen Stewart, and, you know, Robert Patterson, Pattinson, whatever the fuck the guy's name is, you know, their, their chemistry was very awkward, all, like, the love scenes, they're just, like, staring at each other very awkwardly, and it just didn't, it just didn't sell, um, maybe it did if you're, if you're, like, 12 years old or whatever, and you, you think that this is, uh, great shit, but uh, basically, you know, the, the the romance part was just crap, and then you know the whole like drama uh, fighting action just never went anywhere. It was over. It, it it was over in like two seconds, basically, and you're like, that was it, uh, and then yeah, that was it. So. <sighs> it's 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 not like this is the worst movie I've ever seen. It's just. Here's the hype, you know, and, and down here, you know, the opposite direction. You can't see because the fucking can't get it all in frame. But, I mean, the, the hype is so incredibly disproportionate to how interesting of a story... And, and the, the thing that pisses me off most about this is this, that this could have been made into an interesting story. Even if you're going to give the sappy love shit bullshit, you even could have you know, made that better. You could have made more action and a more interesting and realistic romance story that's not entirely one-dimensional. But, no, it just doesn't work either way. I mean, it tries to be a bit of both. It fails at both. And... Again, this movie isn't so bad that it wanted to fucking gouge my eyes out or just end it all with a shotgun every second that I watched. But it wasn't... What What the fuck is everybody keep going on about? Oh, well, oh yeah, I know. It's because... Oh my god, my pants are so hot! And I got the English, don't turn off, you're always so hot!
and they complain about men objectifying women. I mean, look at look at the millions and millions of dollars being dropped on these assholes, and men are you know put down for whatever.